the, the, my biggest, the biggest problem we've had, we've gotten some messages where people have sent uh, uh, messages to the goalkeeper threatening him. I hear some people are telling him, don't come back to South Africa since you've, you, you didn't want us to score, stay back when your team is playing. This, this is so unacceptable. We've not heard of any violence, but we're just threats. They've been threatening him and threatening some people, but I, we didn't see any violence yesterday. Hello, beautiful people. Uh, so you've heard from Peter side. I think he was a former Nigerian player. I think one time he contested for NFF president. Uh, so Wabali has been receiving threats. I even went to social media was saying something like that. But don't joke with South Africans. South Africans that killed Lucky Dube because they thought he was a Nigerian the thieves. They don't like Nigerians, so don't just think of don't think they're just making empty threats. One of them can just go crazy. You understand? So this is how xenophobia starts, just anti-foreigner sentiment and boom, they go crazy. They go, many of this, uh, an average South African black man is quiet, but when he wants to become violent, especially the Zulus, they become crazy, they become something else. They all pray you don't experience it because they can shoot you, they can bring out gun and shoot you. Calm, quiet, but dangerous. That's why South Africa is one of the most violent countries in the world. Let me know your thoughts, what you think of this threat.